November 22, 2022, Daily Bread. Passage, Isaiah chapter 50, verses 1 through 11. Key verse, 4. Title, Instructed Tongue and Listening Ear. This is what the Lord says. Where is your mother's certificate of divorce, with which I sent her away? Or to which of my creditors did I sell you? Because of your sins you were sold. Because of your transgressions, your mother was sent away. When I came, why was there no one? When I called, why was there no one to answer? Was my arm too short to deliver you? Do I lack the strength to rescue you? By a mere rebuke, I dry up the sea. I turn rivers into a desert. Their fish rot for lack of water and die of thirst. I clothe the heavens with darkness and make sackcloth its covering. The Sovereign Lord has given me a well-instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. He wakens me morning by morning, wakens my ear to listen like one being instructed. The Sovereign Lord has opened my ears. I have not been rebellious. I have not turned away. I offered my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. I did not hide my face from mocking and spitting. Because the Sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, have I set my face like flint, and I know I will not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who then will bring charges against me? Let us face each other. Who is my accuser? Let him confront me. It is the Sovereign Lord who helps me. Who will condemn me? They will all wear out like a garment. The moths will eat them up. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the word of his servant? Let the one who walks in the dark, who has no light, trust in the name of the Lord and rely on their God. But now, all you who light fires and provide yourselves with flaming torches, go, walk in the light of your fires and the torches you have set ablaze. This is what you shall receive from my hand. You will lie down in torment. Daily Bread Message The exiles in Babylon felt that God had abandoned them, broken his covenant relationship with them, or sold them to his creditors. But their hardships were due to their own sins. It was not caused by God, for the arm of the Creator is never too short to save his people. God's undying hope is to restore them to be a covenant people and a light for the Gentiles. We should not doubt God's love or blame Him for our troubles, but we need to examine ourselves, repent of our sins, trust God's unfailing love and goodness, and listen to His word. There is a contrast between the transgressions of Israel and the obedience of the Lord's servant. The servant reveals God with an instructed tongue and gives life to those who are weary and burdened by sin. He also has listening ears and a humble, obedient heart. His obedience results in suffering for him, but he is willing to bear the abuse, for he knows that God would vindicate him in the end. This was vividly portrayed in the life and ministry of Jesus. Our Lord Jesus was mocked, despised, and humiliated but he willingly suffered for sinful mankind. Anyone who doesn't listen to and obey the words of the servant and lights fires of rebellion will lie down in torment. Prayer Lord, thank you for Jesus, who taught the word of God to the weary and suffered for my sins. Help me to have an instructed tongue and listening ears to serve those who are weary and burdened. One word, waken my ear to listen to you, Lord.